<laughs> All right, the next the next wide receiver prospect is Parker Washington, wide receiver, Penn State, five foot nine and five eighths, two hundred and four pounds, ten and an eighth inch hands. Uh, nothing there. He did sixteen reps on the bench. I don't have pro day numbers on him, so he, he was injured. He was yeah. hurt. Uh, we never said sense. what was wrong with him. They, uh, it was an undisclosed leg yeah. injury that ended his season. They, Week ten. I was going to say, I think it was actually the Ohio State game from some of the stuff, I, the digging that I was doing, and he kind of like tried to play the next couple of weeks anyway, and it's just he had really bad production, and it just never worked oh, out. They shut, up, they shut him down for the rest of the year. Um, but anyway, last year in 10 games, 46 receptions, 611 yards receiving, and two touchdowns. He had a couple of rush attempts for eight yards. Uh, short, stocky guy, right? Well mm-hmm. built. Um, Second youngest receiver in the class. Uh, yeah, twenty one years old. Um, Out of uh, Pute. Just Out turned. Pute. Just turned twenty one. Yeah, second in, youngest in March. Yeah, his numbers are not impressive whatsoever. No. And what's really weird too is like he has really big hands, or ten and one eighths, and then he has short arms that are twenty nine inches. He has very short arms. Yeah, very short arms. It's odd. Really big hands. It's like. And he's really short, but he's 204 pounds. Yeah, he's five foot ten, <laughs> 204 pounds. Yeah. He's almost he, built more like a running back. He is definitely built more like a running back. He, he plays real physical. I mean, his, his run after the catch, actually, is probably one of his best at, attributes. It's, um, it's really sure. good, yeah. He's solid there with good lateral movement. and He ran pretty good routes. He had good contact balance. Thought he tracked the ball well. Uh, and everything I so everything I read about him is like he's a real hard. Like he did, he's got everywhere he's gotten because he's a real hard worker, right? Mm-hmm. Like he's scrappy do. Like that's, that's what he is. He's scrappy dude because he's physical. Um, he's going to go get the ball. He attacks it. But he's got real short arms. He's got a lot of trouble getting separation. He has no burst and explosiveness. He's not, he's not very athletic. Uh, he does not get in and out of his brakes very fast. His speed is average at best. His blocking is absolutely terrible because his arms are like, there's. I mean, he can't block. His arms are too short. Um, Reptar. It's gonna be really, yeah. He's a he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex out there. Um, it's gonna be really tough for him to find fantasy football relevance. It, it is because it's he's got a lot to overcome for sure. Um, he willed I, his way through college. I don't think he's gonna be able to will his way through the pros to fantasy success. He might he might get on some special teams and stuff like that and do some things. I think he was good with the ball in his hands. Right yeah, after the did. catch was Favorite like his him. jam. Right. He, I he's mean, pretty solid player. Um, yeah, he's not terrible. He's not off my board. Fantasy wise, though, I yeah. thought he had enough game speed and, and kind of burst. I, I know you said you didn't like the burst or anything like that. I, I thought he was it. okay in and out of breaks, mm-hmm. and um, I didn't see any issues with his hands or anything like that. I, I actually thought, really liked his hands. Yeah, I, yeah great uh, hands. I, his hands are fantastic. I mean, he made some spectacular catches. Yeah, I thought his hands were. I wrote very, very solid. And hands. for having short arms and big hands, he was still able to extend away from his body and make catches. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yep. So that was um, that was a note that I wanted to make sure that was on there. Was a defensive back on him at all times? Well, yeah, but if you're making the catch, you're making the catch. And if you're, if you're gaining trust like that, I mean. I just don't, I don't know. I just don't know what, if what the way he plays in his, the way, like his athleticism will translate to the NFL. I under I understand that concern. I do because it's it's my same concern. I have low marks on game speed, burst, things like that. Like I have those same concerns. But when you can catch the ball really, really well and break uh, tackles and break tackles, like there's a there's a role as a slot receiver in the NFL where that could work. Oh, for sure. Like, it, listen, this is a player I actually wanted to like. Like I did, I, I want, do like I, him. I want no. I want to like him more. Right. But like, I. So he falls in the category of he can go and help an NFL team be on an NFL roster, but he's not going to be on my dynasty roster. Yeah. So like that's that's the way it works out. He like, could be. I think he's a low um, a dot run after the catch type of guy. Yeah. And if he gets a lot, if there's he gets pep, if he gets yeah, peppered with targets because he's there getting open and, and moving chains. Mm-hmm. That's I think his his I'm I'm with you. That's his relevance. I think it's you know he's at best a wide receiver three. Um, with if he gets some crazy target volume one year, he could be a wide receiver two. I think every NFL team has a defensive back that could shut him down. But and they're every, not going to put all thirty two teams. I agree, but they're not going to use it on on Parker Washington. They're not going to use that guy on him. They're gonna, he's going to get nickel. Oh, I'm not. So I'm talking about like nickel, like like. Like like the Brown like you Greg, like Greg Newsom would not let us do catch a single pass. Well, he's one of the best nickel corners in the NFL. The first, know, first he was supposed right. to be a an outside guy, right. but I, I get what I get the concerns. But I think he's a good enough route runner. 
I think he has great hands, and I think he can break tackles. I I think that there are teams that are going to value that, and I think I get that his ceiling athletically is nothing to get excited about. But I think those, when you want to ask like some of these guys, like how are they going to win consistently? He has a very clear path for how he will win consistently. And I think, I think that can translate. And especially the, one of the things that you can't, I'm getting choked up. I love him so much. Uh, uh, What's the secret? You got a secret? He'll be irrelevant. Is that, your, is that your secret? Yeah, I, thought, I thought you were leaving after you started the show. <laughs> so. uh, no, he, I get it. He's, he's not a fantastic athlete, but the one thing that you can coach up and get better at is route running. And so I think it's already fine, but if he can refine it even more and get better at it, use that to create a little bit more separation than he's able to create now. Because I remember Kyle Shanahan talking about guys that we thought were good college route runners. And he's like, all these college guys are trash at running routes. Like, we got to fix all these guys when they get to the NFL anyway. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so I I think I believe in him. I do. I believe I, in him. I think he's he, only 71. And so it's not like I have right. a crazy score on him. I, I think he has the suddenness. And I even wrote in the route running, like, he's going to need to work on this in the NFL. Yeah. Like, it, he's just okay at it. I think he's got a the tools to kind of do it though. So that I think he's a guy that can improve. I totally get where you, like, I totally get what you guys see. I totally get, I really do. I yeah. get where you're coming from and clearing his path. Cause like, you know, I, you know, I've read game of Thrones. I can read these novels too. You know what I mean? Like I see it. You know what I mean? Like I can see that much. fantasy coming true. He watched game of Thrones. It's just, okay, you read the subtitles on the show. That's fair. I read the, I read the, uh, the cliff notes. Um, I read every Stephen King book. Close I mean, that's better. Um, that's, I should use that example. There you go. I just, if, like my, if I'm going with my gut. I thought you were going to go Tywin Lannister because he's so short. I thought that was the uh, bow that you were. Or no, like the, that's Deuce Vaughn. You were about to say it. You were about to say <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's just, I, I'm with Jared on this. I just, like, I don't see a path for him ever, like, I, I see your path, but like if you if you're like, hey, how's this going to turn out? Like he's going to be an NFL roster for a couple of years. He'll be lucky to make four years in the league and get get that, and he'll never, you, he'll, you'll you'll never start him again. And he might have, he might like have a game there or two, a couple of plays like ooh, and then you start him the next week and he has like one catch for like six yards. I, feel I like, don't know. Just I, like I just don't see it. A couple years ago, I might have like seen a path for him, but as but you've been around El Moore doing this. Uh, <laughs> Nerd score. Oh, I mean, way better than him. Guys are just starting to compile. Is, is he? And you can kind of see <laughs> similar players and like where they've scored and like who I've liked in the past and just looking at other names and stuff. And it's just all these guys around him are, are irrelevant. And, and that's the thing. I've seen him before and they never pan. Like this thing, four years ago, Dynasty Rich likes this guy. Like, yeah, he gets good to get the ball in his hands. You just get, you get the ball in his hands. Why wouldn't you design to get the ball in his hands? He, he, he's good with the ball in his hands. Why wouldn't you do it? But it doesn't work that way. It just doesn't work that way. It never it never does. Parker Washington is not a guy you're gonna have to draft high. He's gonna be a late round draft pick in yeah. the NFL. He's gonna be a fifth. He's or, not off my board. He's gonna be a fifth or sixth a, round. Yeah, he's a fifth or sixth round rookie pick. Rookie pick. It's it's fine. You don't need to put invest a lot in him, but there are some things I've seen that I like. Oh, you guys and were talking it. like he was a fourth round rookie. Oh, I gave him a seventy one. <laughs> well, I would take him in the fourth. 